I am now going to turn it over to Barbara Roman, who is going to get us started. Thanks, Jennifer. Divorce is a high stakes um, situation for all involved. It affects children, it affects husbands, wives, families, and loved ones, including friends that are close to you. It's a life-changing event and perhaps one of the most stressful experiences one can face in their lifetime. People think they need to win, but we have to define what it means to win. It will be different for every family, but what we at Myers Roman strive to do is to create a win-win for the family. How do we contain, not compound, the tragedy that's involved in divorce? Some think it's about the financial issues, but the better objective to win is by coming out of it with your next best life, with health, happiness, and security. Holly and Ellen will first relate how a divorce impacts your physical and emotional well-being. Then I'll provide you with some insight as to your legal options. Overall, we want to provide you with information and strategies throughout the process so that you and your family can move on into your next chapter of life. So a year or two down the line, people will look to you with admiration and with respect on how you moved along the pathway to health and well-being. So Holly, would you like to start? Sure, thank you. And thanks everyone for coming. <coughs> it's certainly my pleasure to be here. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit about my background. I'm trained in both internal medicine and OBGYN, and I uh, direct our Center for Specialized Women's Health. And I've uh, previously seen male patients, and I now exclusively see primarily midlife women. And uh, after being in practice for several years at the Cleveland Clinic and following several people, including you know, you know, knowing many couples, it is really <coughs> such a uh, life-altering event and any intense stressor really is bad uh, on the health and for some people it, it's actually rates higher on a stress scale than death of a loved one which is really you know shocking and in my area of expertise in women's health I specialize in menopause and hormone therapy uh, sexual dysfunction care of breast cancer survivors pelvic floor um, and uh, urinary incontinence uh, issues and a lot of those issues actually revolve around how you see a lot of marriages unravel because a lot of things do revolve around sex and money. And so I see a lot of issues related to sex. And um, since I've been one of the uh, national people involved in um, menopause and hormone therapy, I can say that from a medical perspective, um, our government, NIH, and unfortunately a lot of our medical institutions have totally um, messed up that whole area and it's opened up this billion dollar cottage industry for compounding hormones. So every day I see women that are suffering who have really bad symptoms, who aren't sleeping. Uh, there's, there's lots of research showing reduced work productivity and functioning. And a lot of women that are hormonally deficient aren't functioning very well either at work or in their marriage. And that's one of my areas of expertise. Mm. And we're going more into a preventive approach and more into functional medicine. You might have read, read about our functional medicine center at the clinic. In terms of just treating symptoms, really trying to get at um, what is the problem and really focusing on um, healthy lifestyles, good nutrition, a lot more research in nutrition and exercise. And uh, one of the other hats that I wear is I'm the executive director of our national nonprofit, uh, Speaking of Women's Health. And I, I've got several brochures. You can join our club for free and get our health tips and, and newsletters. Uh, we have free treatment guidebooks. And we cover things, too, that affect uh, children's health and men's health as well. Women tend to be kind of the heart and soul of, of health uh, and regulating that in their families and communities. And our motto is to be strong, be healthy, and be in charge. And so I think that empowering message you know, for all people of all ages and both genders is, uh, is very important, and that's something that I'm very passionate about. And the other hat that I wear, not that you probably want to hear too much about it, is I'm an elected school board official <laughs> who found like millions of dollars worth of fraud and embezzlement at my school, and now like I'm facing a strike, and I was just talking to the attorney saying, we need a healthy strike kind of plan <laughs> instead of a toxic one, just like you do with uh, divorce. So I think that's a great, I mean, I, I salute <coughs> you and your firm and everyone who's interested in how to deal with very difficult situations in a positive, calm, proactive way. 